Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Rust of My Garage. So, in the last episode, you saw us pull this 1950 Willie's body off of this old existing frame that it had. We pulled the body off, and then we were going to be able to swap the entire body onto a modern Jeep Wrangler frame. So, we ended up yanking the body off, and in this episode, we're going to show you the Jeep Wrangler that we're going to use for the new frame under this Jeep, and show you how we're going to have to modify it to be able to fit under this old Willie's body. All right, so this is the Jeep that we're gonna use for the frame, and it's gonna be the new frame that we're gonna put underneath of our old Willie's body. And it's definitely seen better days. We got this Jeep kind of in a good deal where we were able to buy the motor and transmission and the whole Jeep tub still on it, and we can just take the parts off that we're gonna to need to put it onto our 50s Willie's project. But as you can see, it's definitely very rusted. The frame has a lot of surface rust on it. So we got to get this thing all stripped down so we can get this thing sandblasted and then back in here so we can start modifying it to be able to fit the Willys frame. So in the last episode, I talked a little bit about why we're going with this particular Jeep. And this is a Jeep TJ Wrangler. And so the difference is this Jeep TJs actually have the first year for coil spring suspension on the Jeeps. And so that's gonna help us with ride quality and a little bit of aftermarket support and stuff like that. In the last episode, you saw us measure the wheelbase of the Willys Jeep, and it actually measured up to 104 inch in the, the wheelbase. So if you know a little bit about these TJ Jeeps, you know that the wheelbase actually isn't that long. The wheelbase actually measures 93 inches from the center of the axle to the rear center of the axle. And so we're going to have to modify the frame to be able to extend it to be able to meet the 104 inches wheelbase that we need for it to fit properly under our Willie's body. Now back then they actually did have two different wheelbases. They had a Jeep TJ that we have and then they had a Jeep TJ Unlimited or LJ and it's a little bit longer wheelbase and it's actually 103.4 inches in wheelbase. So that would have worked if we could find one of those but they're just very hard to find and they're very expensive if you do find them. So we're just going to cut the frame that we have and then lengthen it and then it should fit properly under our Willie's body. All right, so now we can start ripping this Jeep apart. So you can see kind of how rusted it is and how the body is mounted to the frame. Still has the motor and transmission and everything in it, which is nice. So we can use all of that stuff. So here's a good look underneath of it you can see this thing is going to need to be sandblasted and it's going to need a lot of attention whenever we get it back so hopefully there's not too many spots that are rusted through there definitely is some pretty crusty spots but we got to pull off all these body mount bolts and then we can lift this body up to be able to really get a good look at this frame to see how bad it is and how much attention it's going to need to be able to properly fit under our jeep willie's body now we haven't really done too many jeep swaps in the past so it's kind of interesting this is all new stuff kind of crazy how short and small everything is like the drive shafts and we're actually going to be able to modify the drive shaft angle whenever we put it under our jeep willy's body and everything like that so we're trying to just get an idea of everything that we're going to need to be able to modify so it can fit properly whenever we go to pull this body off and fit the frame under the new body All right, so we got the body mounts undone. Some of them are really rusted, so we'll see if it'll come off, but we got the lift under it, so. Try to lift it up and hopefully it comes, starts coming off. So I was struggling trying to get some of these rusted bolts out. There's two bolts on the back of the Jeep tub that go from the frame member to the back of the tub and they were rusted off in there they actually it's a weld nut and the weld nut snapped so they both were broken in there and just spinning so i had to cut both of them out and then trying to get the body off it was just such a pain on this thing So 
So our Jeep has these little side steps on them and they didn't come off. So I actually had to end up lifting the body of the Jeep up with the roll cage once I got that rear body mount out and then allowing that to get some pressure for the body to lift up the frame to get some pressure on that back bolt because it was spinning in there. So I was thinking if I could get some leverage on the Jeep body, I would be able to twist it enough so that I could actually get an impact in there and get that back bolt out. So we'll try it and see how it goes. All right, and just like that, the Jeep body is off of the Jeep frame. So gives you a look at the body. You can definitely see it's pretty banged up, pretty rusted. And it was a kind of a chore to get that thing off the old frame. So here's a good look at the body now that we got it off of the frame. The body is actually not too bad of shape, but the frame that we're gonna use is definitely rusted. This Jeep did come from up north, so it definitely has seen some salt on roads. And it's a Jeep, so it's probably been off-road a bunch of times. Just collecting moisture and everything like that but it's actually not too bad the metal seems to be pretty good in the frame so we're gonna get this thing sandblasted and then it will look like a completely different frame once we're done with it so this Jeep does have a four liter six cylinder in it and these are great motors and the transmission is a manual transmission and we're going to actually be replacing all that stuff with the TDI motor like I said before the body and everything is still in pretty good shape. If anybody needs any parts off of it, maybe we still have some, let me know. Message me on Instagram or Facebook if you guys need any Jeep parts. The rest of it is all gonna be stripped down. So we're gonna use the axles, we're gonna use all the brakes, the steering, all the suspension pieces that are on the Jeep. We will probably have to raise this up once we get the body on it because the body is a lot heavier than the old Jeep TJ body but we're going to modify it as we go so we don't go too crazy with it right at the beginning. We're going to try to use the stock gas tank and use everything as stock as we can so that way it's a very easy swap, very straightforward. Unlike the Rambler where we had to make everything, we want to try to use as much parts of the old Jeep as we can on this so that way it's as manageable and if we have issues we can go to the local parts store and find some parts for it. Now, for whatever reason, my camera either lost the footage or didn't record or something, but I ended up not being able to record us pulling the motor and transmission out. But at this point, it is actually pretty simple. We just undid the transmission bolts, undid the motor mounts, and then lifted it out. Very easy to do, so that way we can get a better look and get this thing ready for it to be sandblasted and get it stripped down. So when we get this thing back, we can start cutting it and modifying it and it won't be all rusted so we can weld to it. All right, pretty productive day. We got the entire frame bare. We got the motor out and we got the body off. So now all we gotta do is strip up all the lines, everything that we can't, we don't wanna get sandblasted. Um, all the brake lines, fuel lines, gotta take the gas tank out. We don't need the bumpers on uh, the shocks, stuff like that that we can have bare. And then it should be ready to be sandblasted. So like I said before, we are gonna be keeping this Willie's body so that way we can use some parts off of it if we need to. But if you guys need any Jeep parts or anything like that that we don't use, let me know down in the comments below or message me. Like I said, I'd be willing to part with all this Jeep stuff. All right, so we got our Wrangler frame completely stripped down. We got all the brake lines and everything that would get damaged being sandblasted off and it's ready to be sandblasted. So in the next episode, you guys will see what it looks like once it's back from sandblasting. And that's gonna do it for this episode. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe so we can continue to make awesome videos like this. And we'll see you guys once it's back from sandblasting. Backwards instead of forward.